in this lesson, and it'll probably be in two parts, we're going to use content aware, and we're going to use a layer mask to hide the existing sky, bring in a new sky, and then color correct the picture. I want to make sure I give the proper attribution to Dennis Jarvis. This is in Cambodia. I got this from Creative Commons. So now what I like to do with some of these is make a, uh, I'm going to unlock the background, I'm call it, name it Cambodia. I'm going to go there. I'm going to make a copy of Cambodia. And I'm going to take both the attribution and the copy and put it in a layer, new group from layers. They're both selected. They'll both go in there. And I'm just going to call it backup. So I'm going to move this down below here. Turn off the eyeball. I believe I want to get rid of these tall palm trees. That'll be my goal here. So I'm going to use the polygon lasso around this palm tree and go to edit. I'm on the wrong layer. That's why it was grayed out. Edit, fill, in content aware. See all the other options. It defaults to content aware. And then I'm going to deselect, Command D. I'm going to get this other palm tree. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit close to the building. I'm not going to get all this. Uh, I'll get this other palm tree here, here. There we go. And there's my little circle. I missed it again. I'll hold the Command key, Control, and I can see. Edit, fill, content aware, gone. And then again, I'm going to do it in the water, in the reflection. Fill, content aware. And then there's one more. I'll hold down the space bar to get the hand temporarily and get this little one here. Just want to show you how handy content aware is. It's not always this easy. Sometimes you have to combine content aware with other tools. Like I'm going to do in a minute, let's see, fill, content aware. So Command D, that's gone. But over on the left where I got rid of the palm tree, see that's there. What I'm going to do, that, that rest of the palm trees there kind of interfering with the roof line. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go Command J. I'm going to go to the Move tool and use my arrow keys so I can cover that. And then I'm going to go to my Flyout menu and say Merge Down. And I am going to do wonder if I could, let's see, I'm going to do the same thing over here, get this whole thing, Command J, if you take a look what I copied, that, I'm going to go to the Move tool, and I'm going to move this over to there, and I almost, I think that actually looks better than what I had. Yeah, I'd say that's a little better. Um, I'd like the corners to be a tiny bit soft. Well, no, I think they're fine, actually. Um, Command E. And so if I double click the magnifying glass, it's fit on screen. So we've gotten rid of those tall palm trees. Um, I actually want to, one more. This one's going to be in my way when I do the uh, sky, and I'd rather focus on the sky. So I'm going to get rid of that one too. Still, don't forget I have a backup. Okay. Oh, that didn't work. 
So I have to go further up. Let's see what happens here. Fill, content aware, that was better. And over here, I'm going to add a layer and do a non-destructive cloning. Whoa, that's a big brush. In fact, why even bother? I'm going to throw this out. I'm going to get my rectangular marquee, do a Command J, go to my Move Tool, Shift, so it goes down. There we go. And done. Command E to merge, and that's gone. Double click, and now I've got rid, rid of things that are going to interfere with me doing the sky. There's going to be some tricky stuff over here, but that will be our next lesson. With we'll do a layer mask. It'll be Cam, this is Cambodia one, the next one or Content Aware Cambodia, and so the next one will be number two.